I prepared a, a short uh, speech, but um, you mentioned uh, something I've been trying to forget for many years, and that is the University Gilbert and Sullivan Society at Manchester, <laughs> where indeed uh, my very first operatic performance on stage was as the sergeant of police uh, in 1966. In fact, uh, why don't we have a sing-along? Uh, <laughs> yeah, which I, um, I, hadn't, I hadn't thought of doing this, but uh, as you mention it, you know the famous policeman song, when a felon's not engaged in his employment, is employment, okay? <laughs> so, so let's just go through the way. You just sing the last couple of syllables. Okay? When a felon's not engaged in his employment, his employment. or mature in his felonious little plans, little plans. his capacity for innocent enjoyment, enjoyment. scent enjoyment, it is. <laughs> His capacity for innocent enjoyment, enjoyment is just as great as any honest man's. Honest man. Our feelings we with difficulty smother. Culty smother? <laughs> when constabulary duties to be done, to be done. I take one consideration with another. With another. The policeman's lot is not a happy one. Oh, oh, when constabulary duties to be done, a policeman's lot is not a happy one. I was glad to hear the connection with Manchester University because uh, these are the Manchester gowns I'm wearing, or the gown Manchester University, uh, where indeed I did sub study first as a civil engineer back in the 60s, amazingly. I've written a very short speech. Many thanks to you all for welcoming me in as an honorary fellow. It's a great pleasure to be here and to get to know this place and its dedication to the theatre and to the multitude of crafts and skills involved in it. I always had a voice and was brought up singing in Lancashire in the 50s and then spent the 60s and 70s learning and developing as a singer and actor on the operatic stage. My work in life since then has been in the re He's a good voice there too. <laughs> <laughs> My working life since then has been in the rehearsal rooms and on the stages of many opera houses in many countries. Life on stage brings great profound joys and satisfactions which thankfully outweigh the occasional frustrations, more than occasional, if I'm honest. <laughs> Through it all I've remembered with such gratitude the people and the institutions which encouraged and worked with me at the start. The succession of patient singing teachers the Manchester College of Music, which had such an invigorating drama department. The old stages at the Sadler's Wells Opera, who taught me the ropes. The Glyndebourne Bourne Tour, who were the first to take a risk with me on the professional stage. And many, many others. You never forget those early influences, that fundamental work without which you would have been nothing. And in this spirit, I salute the great formative work done here by students and staff at the Rose Bruford and warmly congratulate all of you graduating today and wish you success as you enter the theatrical world. Many thanks. Thank you.